he's chasing two does. Oh, he's right on their tail. Oh, you gotta love it. Deer season in Ozark, Missouri. Right in the middle of traffic. He don't care. He's chasing does. You see where I'm at? That could have been that could have been one dead or two dead does the way they crossed the road. He was right behind them. You see where I'm at? I want you to look at this. Watch this as I go by these rows. Rows of turnip greens. Look at what the cows are eating. Turnip greens. Now these are milk cows. That's happy milk cows. Eating turnip greens. They're eating big time. Look at them. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> She's so happy. She can't stand it. Now there's the farm where they milk them. Happy cows, happy milk. I don't drink milk, never have, but if you drink milk, drink happy milk. Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I'm with the, mar the manager of this farm that has this dairy, and he did agree and say, yes, that was turnip greens, and it was his idea. Tell, tell him what you said, you got five? Yeah, we've got six paddocks of turnip greens for the cows this year. And it's probably 20 acres each. No, six and a half acres each. Six and a half acres each. Mm -hmm. And he said they will eat the greens. And then they'll jerk the bulbs out and eat them. And that makes them happy cows. Oh, they love it. And they come up in here in the morning and they line up to get on the rotisserie thing. Yeah, they, they, we bring them in to milk right here twice a day. Twice a day. Yeah, every 12 hours. You know them by name almost. They got numbers, so you scan them and you kind of know. Just all, it's a number. It's a number and they keep up with it and. Oh yeah, they're all on a computer system and everything, yeah. And you know what cow's doing and yeah. what cow's not doing. What the breeding is and everything. Else. How much milk it produces and everything. I've seen a lot of farms, but this is really an efficient deal they've got here. And I've been watching it for a while. They really know what they're doing. I finally had a chance to stop and talk to them. I've been thinking about making this video for a long time. But uh, maybe one day he'll show me the inside workings of how that rotisserie thing. They just walk, line up, and they just walk right in there. Look like a school kid cafeteria looking thing. They, sm so. they smiling and they happy. And when they get through, y'all feed them again. Well, they get six pounds of grain at every, each milking in there. And that's enough to get their vitamins and minerals and their energy in them. And then they get everything else from the grass. No shots, no hormones, no, none, of the, hormones. none of that junk. No. So you got happy cows. Yeah. Yeah, All right. Can't, the way the restrictions are anymore, we can't use drugs are very limited. Yeah. Well, if you do it like y'all do it, and, you know, this is a huge operation. I'll show an aerial picture of what it looks like using Google Map and let you see how these, how, how many areas they got to graze these cows. Yeah, there's 80 acres right over there all set up across the road. We do take them across the road. Yeah, I've seen that. I videotaped that. They just walk right across the road. Oh, they don't care. They don't, uh-uh. They're some happy cows. If they get out, they go on the road, so we might make them go on the road. <laughs> yeah, at least you're there to flag them when you want to. Yeah. Other than that, one of them has to whoop out a flag and flag for each other. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you, man. Appreciate it. You Thank you. Have a great day. Now, I wish you'd look at that. They took that tree down. It was just as big as that one. They took that one down, and they stacked the wood. That's three big trees they took down. That's nice of them to do that like that. I want to show you this. There's a tree stump right behind there. They cut that wood up so nice and neat. Look at that. Look at how they cut that wood up. Those are tree stumps quartered right there. Those are too. Those are the tree limbs. Everything from a tree that was that size. There was three of them. One, two, three. Now, if that wasn't a good deal, I'm going to tell you. That's how a co-op using a subcontractor needs to do people. I've seen it done the other way where it's a mess 
and it's not good. So I'm going to speak that anything that I'm involved with that has to do with that type of clearing and taking trees down is going to look as neat as this and as neat as this. Three trees that size. It's like that tree and that tree and that tree all took down and guess what they did it so fast i wasn't able to get pictures of them actually doing it they did it in about two days can you believe that they did it in about two days it's amazing you see where i'm at county line road and that road right there runs to rogersville oh here come a car i gotta go Well, this is my third trip back here to this location. You can see where I'm at. The McDonald's is over there. Rogersville is that away. And this is Hardy's. I'm going down this new road they built. Somebody told me about it, and it's been open for a while, but I guess a couple weeks, and I didn't know about it. But it runs right along this this highway here. And it got it's just it's just another way to go. Seems like I'm making some good time doing it because yeah, there's always more roads that lead somewhere to get you there faster if you know what I'm saying. If you gotta feel me on that. But um I'm gonna get to my turnaround point and that's almost the end end, and then I'm gonna ask my body, do I feel like doing another one? And that'd be like coming here again. That would be four. That would give me a total getting back to Ozark, 76 miles. And that's one of my best uh, that I've done all year. So, man, it would be something to get there, get back, and then do one more. Woo, I might shoot for it. What you think? There can be no doubt about it, we are living in historical times. This we must make sure the good guys win. Thanks for listening and watching. Subscribe and share. Well, look at that. Look at the color. That's some of the first color that I've seen. Now, if you know this road, you recognize that sign for sale. He sells, fixes old tractors. And that tree is going to be all red here pretty soon. Today is October the 6th, and I'm riding my bicycle. That is what I'm doing. I'm riding my bicycle. I've got just so many more days before cold weather. Um, people that follow me on social media, they know that uh, I hadn't posted anything for about four days. Well, that is because I've been out of town and I went somewhere. And the place that I went is very interesting. The people that I meet are very interesting. I'm not at liberty to tell you too much about anything except to tell you this. The color is coming out and eventually 
I'll be able to post more about my adventures and where do I go when I go out of town.